My name is Leon Grant and I am the pre-engineering pre-architecture teacher here at um, Marriott High School and it's my responsibility to give overall leadership to this project and that is across really uh, several grade bands high school we also have middle school partners elementary as well as partnering with uh, post-secondary this project has been an awesome project um, because it is integrating science technology engineering and manufacturing in a way that's unprecedented um, in, in k-12 engineering education to this point i really believe it's a paradigm shift in the way we do k-12 engineering um, students are taking concepts, designing them, building prototypes, refining those designs, and eventually we'll ship them to Haiti. Um, they're integrating several things, automation, using Raspberry Pi, um, doing designing things on 3D printers, plasma cutters, laser cutters, um, and actually using traditional shop equipment to make products. So what we're seeing here is students taking a holistic approach at solving a problem that Haiti has and using all sorts of resources to pull that together. And all of this is coming together in a unique way where kids are taking their ideas, making them work in a way that has not been seen before. Uh, hello, my name is Travis Holmes. Uh, I'm working on the automation team. I'm working with uh, Raspberry Pi to develop a weather station. Basically what Raspberry Pi is, it's just a computer. It's not too much bigger than a credit card. And one of the things you can do with it is you can make a weather station. It'll be able to take stuff like temperature, uh, barometric pressure, wind speed. I think the best part about the project that I'm doing is that uh, you don't usually you know, develop skills like these, you know, just you know, outside of class. You know, here you get uh, training that you, would, that you usually wouldn't get anywhere else. My name is Cecil Abadoy and I am one of the college mentors that are helping with the project. If there are any like odd jobs or anything that needs to be done that a student might be too busy or needs help with, I'm pretty much the person who helps. Hello, I'm Matino Zari, 12th grader here at Marietta High School and I do the self-sustainable energy part of the Haiti Container Project. In it, what I hope to do is to provide enough power so that the people in Haiti have a constant source of electricity without using external sources and can use sources like solar and wind to produce energy. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Theodore Grosch. I uh, teach electrical engineering at uh, Kennesaw State University and uh, I'm, I, I'm one of the mentors on the uh, Haiti Container Project and I think uh, I'm working here because I think it's a great opportunity for students to get involved in a, in a STEM based project that uh, gives them real world experience and they are actually going to build something that, uh, that could be used worldwide or you know at least get some experience in an engineering project from the, from, from the inception to actually building something. I'm Zion Martell, I'm in 10th grade and I'm working on an aquaponic system which is when the fish are on the bottom and the plants are on top and they mutually benefit from each other and I think it's good for Haiti because water is a premium resource over there so they don't have a whole lot of it and so by being able to reduce the water usage it'll really help them and also it's really cost effective. My name is Mohamed Jallo. I'm a freshman at Marietta High School. I'm working on my Raspberry Pi project with my partner Travis Holmes. Um, I'm working in the innovative low cost, low, computer, low power laptop using Raspberry Pi and my, my partner Travis, he's making a weather station. And so right now we're in the process of actually making the casing and making it look authentic and slim. You put it together with like a keyboard and a monitor and stuff and you can make a computer basically. And you can also be innovative with it and put it on a touch screen or anything like that. All right, my name is Jeffrey Hughes and uh, I'm a senior here at Marietta and I'm working on the architecture portion of the project. I'm the lead architectural designer, so I use like geometry for the Earl's Lab. The Earl's Lab is the um, engineer and architecture research lab for sustainability. So I'm the main person who actually makes the building. And then uh, for people who do solar, 
or um, like a recycling, they put their CAD models in mind. Not a lot of people are doing what we're doing, especially at a high school level. So we have like middle school and elementary kids um, working on projects too. By the time they get to my age, they'll already be skilled. So it already just, it's kind of like a pipeline. Hi, my name is Leslie Hernandez. I'm in the Haiti Container Building Project. I work on the solar oven with Mr. Grant and Mamuna Jalo. So far, I think we've made pretty good progress. The solar oven is so that people in Haiti can cook off the grid without using electricity. My name is Maymuna Jalo. I'm in 11th grade. Um, I am in this project to help Leslie make a solar oven for Haiti in the Earl's Lab. Um, it's been a really good experience so far. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to build stuff better than I used to. I learned how to do more things that I wanted to learn for the future. I'm Zoe Chris. I'm a 12th grader. Um, and I I do uh, metal recycling um, and scale model building for the project. Um, so I think especially with my recycling um, project that it'll help the trash, current trash problem in Haiti, especially with their, they have a really big infrastructure problem even before the earthquake, but they just don't have the resources to deal with trash, especially metal trash. Um, and then I use uh, scale models for our presentations um, and to get the general knowledge about our project to help the public. My name is Jonathan Colbreth. I'm in 10th grade and I'm working on the sustainable furniture for the Earl's Lab. And I have, it's gonna help Haiti because they need school supplies, like desks and stuff like that. So the furniture I'm making is a drafting table and they can learn how to you know, build and all sorts of construction skills to help build the, the community and they can all learn. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Ronnie Thomas. My name is Romel Bandala. And the purpose of that video was just to inform you guys about the certain things that we're doing inside the project. You know, we're working really hard on the things that we want to do. Hopefully by the end of next year, we can have a finished product that's ready to be shipped to Haiti. This is a lot of fun. Like, it's been wonderful meeting like new people, getting to work with them. And um, I really enjoyed editing this video. He's the lead video editor that you saw. I was the lead photographer, video recorder. So we both cooperated in this and it was a lot of fun.